In this Cakewalk tutorial, I'm going to do a Cakewalk MIDI keyboard setup, and then I'm going to show you how to record with your MIDI keyboard. I'm Zane, welcome to Simple Green Tech, where I do weekly audio tech tips, tutorials, and reviews to help you conquer the tech and unleash your creativity. Now, the MIDI keyboard that I'm using for this Cakewalk by BandLab tutorial is the M-Audio Keystation Mini 32. I've linked to it in the description below in case you want to check out the latest pricing on it or get some more information. I've also included a link to the video review that I did on this MIDI keyboard. Now, before you open up Cakewalk, make sure your MIDI keyboard is plugged in. All right, now with Cakewalk open, let's go up to edit and then click on preferences. And you want to go down under the MIDI column here and click on devices. And you should see your device listed in the inputs here. And for this Cakewalk tutorial, I'm just going to focus on the input devices. If you want to send MIDI out of Cakewalk to an external MIDI instrument, you can set it up in the output devices. But for this Cakewalk MIDI tutorial, I'm only focusing on the input device. So if you see your device here, click the check box beside it, make sure it's checked. And then you want to go down here and click OK. Now you can either open an existing project or start a new project. For this, I'm going to start a new project. And now over in the browser area over here, click on this keyboard looking icon, and then you'll see a list of your instruments in here. And if you want to add more third party instruments and you don't know how to add plugins, I've linked to my video showing you how to add VST plugins into Cakewalk. So you can check that out to add more plugins into your Cakewalk library. But for this, I'm going to go to the piano and I'm just going to use the piano plugin that comes with Cakewalk. So you click, drag it over to this section here, let go, and you'll see that it's now created a new instrument track. And you can click here to see more information. But to see the interface of that plugin, you want to click on this keyboard here. And here's our plugin interface. Now press a key on your keyboard, make sure it works. All right, so my keyboard set up, it's working. Now if your keyboard's not working, you might wanna go back into the preferences and make sure that your keyboard is actually checked off in there. So just go back, check it off, click okay, and then you can come back and it should be working. And we're now ready to record. So you want to hit this red button right here, and this arms the track to record. Basically, it tells Cakewalk that you want to record what you're playing on this track. And if you left it unarmed, you could still play along with your song, but it wouldn't record the MIDI. Before we get into the recording, I just want to ask if you're enjoying this Cakewalk tutorial so far, can you please give it a thumbs up? It really helps my channel out, and I appreciate it so much. Now let's get back into the Cakewalk tutorial. Now, before we hit record, make sure that this button right here is clicked on, and this enables the metronome while you're recording. And then we just want to click this button right here, and it will start to record. And we now have our MIDI clip. And if our playing was off a bit, we can just double click on it like this, and it's going to bring up the piano roll. So you could just manually click on your notes and then drag them over so they're in line like that. Or you can press Control A on your computer keyboard, and that's going to select all of our notes. And then you can press Q on your computer keyboard and that's going to bring up this quantize menu. And you can select where you want to quantize it to. I usually go with the eighth note, click OK, and you'll see that it's automatically lined up our notes to the eighth note. You can also see some other information in here, these orange lines, or it might look like this on your screen, depending on if you have this button clicked in or not. And what this does is it controls the velocity of each note. So if you played a note too hard or too soft, you can go in and edit that. So you just want to make sure you're clicked on the note that you want to edit. 
that's this one here. And then we'll just click and drag that down or up, however you need to. Now, what if we wanted to control a second instrument? So let's go over here. And this time I'm going to bring in the strings instrument. So click and drag it in here. I'll bring up that. Now watch when I press my MIDI keyboard. It now controls the strings. So if I wanted to record these now, I want to make sure that I uncheck the arm for record on the piano and arm this track now for recording. And if I wanted to go back and play the piano again, I would just click on that track here. And I'm now playing the piano. Of course, I can play both and listen to both at the same time. All I have to do is click on this button here on the instrument that I'm not currently controlling. And now watch. I am controlling both. You can hear the piano in there a bit, but the strings are really overpowering. And of course you can record both of them at the same time if you wanted to. It's just going to record the exact same MIDI information. So you could only record one and then just copy that information onto the next track if that's what you really wanted to do. But arm both for recording, hit record. And it's recorded the same thing on both tracks. Now, if you want to add some more VST plugins to your Cakewalk library, click up here for some of the best free VST plugins out there. Or click down here to see what YouTube thinks you should watch next. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos from me. Thank you so much for watching for Simple Green Tech. I'm Zane. Keep creating, and we'll talk soon.